These are not coordinated political set pieces, astroturf, as we say in Washington. No, these are spontaneous eruptions of love. One minute you'll be watching a college football game from the stands. The next minute you'll be overcome with the desire, the pressing, irresistible need to tell Joe Biden how great he is. It's like having to go to the bathroom real bad, except better and more progressive. This is happening, ladies and gentlemen, and it's happening everywhere. A cresting tsunami of support for Joe Biden. Here's a sample. It's inspiring when you think about it. Joe Biden on his first day in office promised to bring this country together and now he's actually doing it. It doesn't matter what team you've showed up to root for. In your heart, you are a Joe Biden fan and that is national unity. Now, not everyone is for this, of course, to Vladimir Putin who hates us for our freedoms and also because he's Russian. This is a threat. Loving Biden is a thing of beauty. So by definition, Vladimir Putin must destroy it. It's like a sunset, a rose garden, a baby's smile. It's something lovely that must be defiled if Russia is going to dominate the world. So in order to corrupt what is good and beautiful, Putin has spread the lie that these expressions of pure devotion to Joe Biden are instead attacks on Joe Biden, vulgar attacks that include an epithet beginning with F. And sadly, a lot of people believe that. Russian disinformation is effective. That's why they do it. So thank heaven NBC has been there to correct that misperception. Over the past several years, NBC has done maybe more than any other news organization in this country to fight the Kremlin's propaganda machine. Thanks to NBC, for example, your doubts about the fairness of the last election have not only been settled, they're now illegal. You're not allowed to express them ever again. So we can be thankful that there was a credentialed representative of NBC Sports on hand earlier this month when fans at a NASCAR event began to celebrate, spontaneously celebrate Joe Biden. If the NBC lady had not been there, you might very well have misheard what the crowd said. Watch. Oh my God, it's just such an unbelievable moment. Brandon, you also told me, I can hear the chants from the, the crowd. Let's go, Brandon. F Joe Biden, please come on, wake up America. That's like looking at the thriving, incredibly robust economy all around us and concluding there's inflation. Settle down, Vladimir Putin, that's ridiculous. What they said, and you could hear it very clearly if you just open your ears to the truth, is let's go Brandon. The NBC lady made that very clear. Not F Joe Biden, let's go Brandon. But who is Brandon, you ask? Well, just another happy American who is grateful for the wise leadership of his benevolent president. In fact, Brandon is a newly arrived American, part of what we call the Biden generation. He's an undocumented trans Haitian migrant now enrolled thanks to a Pell Grant as a film studies major at NYU, as well as a part time non-binary rights activist and puppeteer. Brandon is the embodiment of the new American dream where everything's free, but everyone is still angry. Just this month, Thanks to Joe Biden, Brandon got his fourth COVID shot. That means he's an incredibly good person, far better than you are. And the crowd is simply celebrating that, as grateful people spontaneously do. Let's go, Brandon! Let's get a fifth shot! Let's go, Brandon! So once you strip away the Russian propaganda, it's all pretty obvious and natural. But it does make you wonder, if you pause for a moment, if the Russians are lying about Brandon, what else are they lying about?